Hey you guys, Misty here. Um, I've got a lot of books to show you guys that I colored in the month of August. And August has done come and left us. And today's September the 1st when I'm filming this. So we'll get started. i got a big stack of books to show you guys. So just sit back and get you something to drink and a snack and we'll get started here. Now this one here I colored at the end of July july the 31st i believe it was because i recorded earlier last time so i just thought i'd go ahead and show you guys the picture color by color is tender mandela's uh kira shishneva i did this one right here july the 31st use various markers on this so i definitely wanted to show it to you guys and bookmark it very fun to color. I love the browns in here. Really nice. And the, the colors blend together good. Dark brown, light brown, red, green, and dark blue on this. Next, we've got the uh, mini pushing coloring book. I know I didn't, probably didn't say pushing right. Um, now, who was this by again? I'm trying to think of who this was by. It's on um, Instagram there. Claire Belton. Claire Belton. Okay. I did this one right here. I used uh, Yummy Yummy glitter gel pens on this. Fun and simple to color. I think I took this with me when I went over to Mama's and trimmed the dog's nails. I had this uh, book with me. A lot of sparkle there. These are really good gel pens. I really love them. The yummy, yummy glitter gel pens. Lots of sparkle there. And I did this one uh, August the 7th. That's when I did this one. Better take my slip out of that other book too, because I forgot to take my slip out. Let's see here. That one right there. And next we got the Global Goddesses, uh, the Color and Hive, and uh, and the last name is D O L I N I N A. It's the last name. It's right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. And here's the info on the picture. If you want to pause it, the info, you can pause it and read the information on the picture. I'll just leave it here a minute so you can pause it. Um, I used RNG markers on this one, spray markers, Arteza Everblend, skin markers for the skin, and I did this one August the 28th. This is really fun to do. I decided to uh, color her hair half and half, leave it half and half, because <clears throat> her skin right here is a little bit darker and this is lighter, so that's why I went ahead and done that just to be doing but this is really this was a really fun picture to color i really enjoyed it really enjoyed coloring it okay here's this one there's information on the picture you want to pause it and read the info i hope it's showing up good on camera here for you guys the info Well, this is the one I did right here. I used various markers. 
August the 27th when I did this picture. This is the first one I did in the book. And I decided to color her hair gray and then this strand here with a darker gray. And I wasn't really sure about what the color is her outfit, but I just went ahead with the lighter color also on her outfit and colored the background black. But I think it turned out really well. I like it. I like the color in high books because you can look over here and see what day you colored and uh, what you used. You can write on that. that I wish every color book had that. That would really be good. And this is the information on the, this one I colored. And I did this one with various markers and used the flare glitter gel pen. August the 28th is what I did this one. I don't know for sure if I like her hair or the outfit much, but it is what it is. I started with coloring her hair to solid black, and then I didn't like it too well, so I went over it with uh, the flare glitter gel pen. And on her outfit, I wanted it to look kind of like it was a blood. The red was blood there. And a lot of times if I do that, I just leave, you know, leave it white with the red on the outfit. But I went ahead and put in the gray also on the flare glitter gel pen. I used that on the shirt too. But hopefully you guys like it real well. And I also used the, also used the flare um, gel pen on the skulls here. That was fun to do. So there's that one right there. That's all I did in this book. And then we got the uh, Tiny Land Mini Pets featuring 30 guinea pigs and hamsters, a color and hive. And then here's the name here. Zepida, S-E-P-I-D-E-H. And then last name is P-A-K-N-I-A. It's the last name. This is a really nice book. I really like it. Let's see here. Okay, this one right here, I decided to use uh, gel pens on this. Glitter gel pens. So I used Gassel Art gel pens and eyeshadow for the background. I did this on August the 30th. It is more work with gel pens, but in the long run, it turns out really pretty. So I decided to go ahead and go with gel pens on this. And I decided to leave the door like white here. And I could have. I was thinking about coloring the sky with a marker, but to make it easier, I just used eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow looks just as good, you know. It's real sparkly and shiny. I like the way it turned out. It turned out really good. And I, used bright paint there to bring out the windows and door a little bit and also I did this one right here I used tail tree markers flare glitter gel pens and the name of this picture is the littlest gardener and this one was called let's see what the name of this picture was uh, confection h-a-u-s hayes Confection Hayes, H A U S. This is the littlest uh, gardener right here. This is really fun to color. And I decided to use the uh, flare glitter gel pens. I colored all this with blue. And then I went back with my flare glitter gel pen on it, on these little dots here. And decided to use uh, a little bit of the glitter pen on the heart and the bow. But always when you use your markers, always use your markers first and then go back with the gel pen. Uh, I wouldn't use, like if you wanted to use a black marker on this, after you color it blue, then it'll bleed out. It doesn't do well, so just keep that in mind. I just went ahead and colored this blue and then I went back over the little dots with the flare glitter gel pens. How I did it worked out better. Let me see, I forgot to turn this light on too. 
my white light. I miss it when I don't have it on. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I do like it. Okay. Now, this one was August 28th. Do this one right here also. This one is called um, Just One More Page. And I, I did this on August the 29th, and I used spray markers and a and Art glitter gel pens on this. And also, I colored the blanket first pink, solid pink, same way with the pillow. And then I went back and colored the little details with a gel pen, which works out really better. Same way with the pillow here. I did it that way. But I like the way it turned out, and it was pretty fun to do. Is a fun picture to color. And next we've got Spookwitz Volume 1, Carla Magana. I did this one right here uh, with Jordan, JTS Coloring. Uh, both of these pictures was with Jordan. And she hasn't done hers yet, but she had said she'd been real busy. But I went ahead and colored mine already. So this turned out really well. I didn't write down what markers I used, though, on this to tell you guys. But it's on my Instagram if you want to go look at it. And you can see the, the picture and see what I used on it. And did this one August 23rd. And also with this one, I forgot to write down what I colored with. I, know you, I used some markers here and I used some gel pens to blend it in. And I think it looks better, you know, to use marker and gel pen on her pictures. Um, that's just my opinion. But it seems like it does better. Okay, August the 23rd is when I did this one. But it does, this is really good. I, I like the way this one turned out here. And you can see where the uh, gel pen is on here. I didn't use it on her hair. I love the color of her hair too. I wish I wrote down the name of the marker and what I colored with on those but you can find this on Instagram also and see what I colored with if you want to I usually I went go back and check them but sometimes you miss something uh, this is a grayscale coloring book uh, light and dark fantasy Jade Summer I did this one on chat I used the hoo hoo and spray markers on this one August the 25th that's when I did this one Oh, you can see the egg better, yeah, on this pit on the page. It, it does look about like what it looks on the page, so that's good. I wasn't really sure about it, but it turned out okay. And I wanted to color all this the same color, this light yellow color here. And I was, well, I colored this a little bit darker. This is supposed to be some gold here, and then I met, you know, messed up and colored all this the same color, but. Hopefully you can tell a difference a little bit there. I like the color of the dragon here too. It turned out really good. So in the long run, I liked it. At first I didn't, but it's okay. This is a Whimsical Gnomes Beach Life coloring book. Ad Adela. Adeleta. Yeah. Ada Lita Quinn. Ada Lita Quinn. It's a company, I believe. Ada Lita Quinn. I believe it's a company. Did this one right here. These books are so fun, guys. I used Kelly Art markers on this one, August the 3rd. Really fun to color. Loved coloring her little flip-flops in her feet. That was really fun. Of 
color this one this is fun too i use a uh, hoo-hoo markers and kelly art markers on this one august the third definitely fun to color i love coloring it decided to color around here the orange color And last one in here I colored was uh, this one. I used Kelly Art markers on it. This is fun too. Feet was really fun to color, and the and the flip flops just so fun. And the fish, the fish was fun to color, and the little dog there. I did this one uh, August the second. Next we have a uh, Kawaii Galaxy, and I believe this is from. Um, well, I forgot. I'll have to write down in the book here what which. I think it's the Caramel book, Caramel Company that does this. But I'm gonna go. I'll go back and write down in here what the company is for sure. Okay, this was, I did this one with spray markers, uh, August 18th when I did this one. I like the way that I decided to leave the moon white with the little brown spots. Fun to do. August 18th. This one right here I did with spray markers and a white jelly roll. It's fun. I decided to color uh, background black on that one. And we got this one right here. I love coloring this one. I use spray markers. And I decided to color the inside a lighter and do the outline a little bit on this one. And it's hard to see. I did it a little bit on the popcorn here too. Well, I like the way this one turned out. It was really fun to color. August 18th. I'm going to have to try to fix this page right here because it messed up from this one. So, I don't know. Don't know if I can fix it. I'm going to try to, though. I'll leave this one out and see if I can fix it. Maybe I can. Uh, next we got the Kawaii series Irresistibility Irresistibility Ah, uh, yeah I had trouble saying it last time In my mind I can say it Irresistibly Irresistibly Um, Kayla Black I love her books Did this one right here I used Castle Art Pencils on this one Uh, August 11th and this one I used Castle Art Pencils on too um, August 11th Use Castle Art Pencils on this one too. August 11th. Really fun using pencils on these pages in this book. It's really fun to use pencils for sure. I like it better than markers. Sometimes you just get in a mood for pencils on certain pictures, you know? And next we got the Cute Mermaids coloring book, Ava Brown. I did this one right here, and I used tail tree and a hoo color markers on this picture. August 14th. Their hair was really fun to color. I like coloring the hair. I was going to do the color, their hair the same color, but I thought, no, I better not do that. 
So I went a little bit lighter brown on the picture. August 14th I did that one. And then this one was the first picture I did in the book. I used tail tree markers and so color gel pen. I decided to leave this like a white in here, which turned out really good. Leave the white a little bit, a little hint of white. August 13th. Did I do any more in here? I think that's all. So, and then we got the three color series, Animals and Birds, Velvet Family. I decided to use gel pens. I used the so color glitter gel pens on this one. And I did this one um, August 18th. Yeah, I decided to go with gel pens. A little bit lighter, but still real pretty. Real pretty and shiny. This one I used spray markers on. Um, what day was it? I colored this one. August 18th. That's when I did this one. And the spray markers. They did really well on this. I wanted to color it like this picture back here. The same colors. So that's what I did on this. Next, we got the forest animals, Ava Brown. I used spray markers on this one, the owls. That was really fun to do. August the 20th, when I did this one. Hey, little pumpkin. And this one right here, I couldn't wait to do. So, I did use some gel pens. Rion and so color glitter gel pens on this one a lot of sparkle and shine really pretty simple to do i didn't try to color the background or anything that would have been a lot of work to do that so i just tried the best i could with some highlights and color it where it wouldn't make a difference august the 20th and the other ones I've got bookmark I want to color. The alligators. So I don't think I've colored any more. It's just some a bit more here to color. Pretty much, I think. There's a lot in here I want to color. We got who's who is this? Color by number. Jennifer Rowland. Did this one right here. The first page here. This is the first one I did. Turned out really well. I used various markers. And I did this one August the 21st. When I did this one. This was really fun to do. I really enjoyed this. It looks real. And this one right here I did. This one was Marilyn Monroe. Use various markers. You okay, Pepper? I just thought Pepper was going to get sick for a minute. August the 30th is when I did this one. I had to order a Copic uh, cream marker mine ran out but so i tried to match it and then i got a little line right here but it's just hard to get the skin just right with the same color because i'd have to go all through all this and it's hard to say if it would really be the same color so i hope that you can't tell it too bad and then we got the i love this book floral mandela's volume two david dincham 
I love the cover too. It feels so good and the pages are beautiful. I love doing this one. I wanted to color some and uh, the, where you just add your own color on the black pages here. So I did this one right here um, last night, August 31st, and I used free markers. You can use your own colors on these too and pick what colors you want. So it was orange, green, and yellow. We got Steampunk, Pirate Girls, Deborah Muller. This one right here we did on chat. I'm pretty sure I did this one on chat. I did this one August 11th, yeah, on chat. And I'll see right here's a little red too. I gotta try to fix this if I can. If there's a way to fix it, I hope so. Um, I used Tail Tree markers, Arteza Everloom markers, and Castle Art pencils on this. I went back over the marker with pencil on her skin, but this I just left marker. I only used pencil on her skin here. Well, that was really fun to color. Next, we got a brighter year, 12 month color and calendar. Chante. And uh, I love this, I absolutely love this calendar. I've colored every month for it. And this one is August. And I do them, usually I here like I just do them as a time lapse color for our, for our channel here. Um, August uh, 20th is when I did this one, and I used a uh, Crayola Super Tips. I used a gel pen on the August there. That was fun to color. And there's what September's looks like. We'll be coloring this one. I'll be coloring it, and you guys can, if you got the calendar, color along with me. I'm glad it's September and it's almost October now. Isn't that good? Got the Silhouettes book, Jennifer Rowland. I used Ortiz Everblade markers on this one. August 17th. I used Arteza Everblend markers on Elvis here. August 17th. And then uh, Robert Downey Jr. I used spray markers on him. This one I did on the time lapse too. This was fun to do. August the 20th. We got the Whimsical Gnomes Country Life. Adelaida, Adelaida Quinn, something to that effect. Do this one right here. I use spree markers and eyeshadow. And I think it turns out better to use the eyeshadow. I mean, to use marker first on the sky if you want to use eyeshadow. And then I went over it with eyeshadow. I like the look of it better. With eyeshadow, with the marker first, and then eyeshadow over it. Do this one August the thirty-first. This one right here was fun to do. Also, use spray markers August seventeenth on this one.
We've got Secret Village, Summer, um, Ava Brown, colored in this one. I didn't color any of these. August the 12th, I colored this right here. Let's see, I used Castle Art pencils on this one too, I'm pretty sure. I just was in a pencil mood and I used all pencil. Glad I remember to show you guys this on August the 12th because I didn't bookmark it. And then this one, Castle Art pencils, I used, let's see, uh, Castle Art pencils August the 12th on this one too. Yeah, this was really fun to do with pencil. And uh, got Misty's Mystery Mosaics, Unicorns, and Mermaids. Bella Family. Try to do two in here every month. Try my best to. And I went to the mermaid section. Got a little yellowing from a marker on the page, but it didn't hurt anything too much, thank goodness. Okay, I did this on August 17th. I used various markers. Decided to work in the mermaid section. This one I did with various markers, August the 16th. I love the colors in this one. It's really pretty, the colors. Uh, Greetings from Limbo, Alicia Atkins. This is a fun book. I love this book, too. I used Ahoo markers and Castle Art pencils on this picture. August the 10th. Really fun to color in. Color this one right here with our hoo hoo markers. August the 10th. Various, oh, a oh, hoo marker. Okay. So, one of various markers. This one was. No, this one wasn't. Okay. I've got it. I remember I told you guys now what it was. We got it. This was fun to do. I decided to use lighter color and then dark around it, shade some. That was really fun. You can do that really well with the Ahuhu pastel markers. Darker and lighter shade. It works really good. Did this one August the 10th. Wasn't sure about the hair, but I just went in and went with green because it looked pretty. So I used the green. And this one, a Nikki colored this picture and I liked it, so I colored this one too. A Who Pastel Markers. August the 10th. A who markers and pastel no a who who pastel markers on this one August the tenth. This is an excellent book. Fun to color in Plant People Volume One Ten PM Creations. Illustrated by Sarah Emery. Excellent book. Definitely recommend it. Really fun to color in. I used Rion glitter gel pens and A&R glitter gel pens on this one. Lots of pretty shine there and sparkle. It 
is really fun to do with gel pens. Arteza markers, Arteza Evelyn markers, and Kelly Art markers on this one. And I did this one uh, August the 9th. I used um, make sure I don't skip any here because I colored quite a bit in here. I used various markers on this one. August the 9th. Used Arteza Everbone markers on this picture. August the 9th. Love the way the butterfly turned out. It's really pretty. This one I colored with REG markers and Kelly Art markers. August the 9th. Beach Scenes Coloring Book, Ava Brown. Now these are those pencils somebody was asking me how they turned out. They turned out really good. Um, the Oli, O-O-L-I, Oli Unique Unicorns. These are the pencils I got at the bookstore in Silva. City Lights Bookstore. And they turned out really good. I used them on this picture right here. And I used also the Daily Color Motion pencils too on this picture. So they did really well, the pencils did. And I did this one on August 14th. This one right here, I used Arteza um, Arteza pencils, Arteza and Castle Art pencils on this. August 14th. I hardly ever use pencil, but this book here is really good for pencil, I think. I think that's all I did in that one, yeah. I've got the Space Girls and Aliens, Deborah Muller. This picture right here with Sweet Haley. We do this as a buddy collar. I used Kelly Art markers and a white jelly roll on the welcome there. August the 2nd. That was really fun to do. Decided to color the background. Had fun coloring it. And Haley's turned out really good too. And also, I did this one right here with Haley. We did this one as a body color. And I used Kelly Art markers on this. That was fun to do. I didn't. I didn't want to color the background. That would have took up because I was afraid that I would end up covering some of these designs. My book is falling apart, but that's okay. I'll try to keep everything in here. Okay, August the second. So that's all I did in that one. Color by colors. Famous paintings. Kira Shishneva. This is a really fun book. I love it. Try to do about two in here every month. Did this one right here with various markers. August the 6th. And this one right here I did. August the 6th. Various markers.
Lindsay girls celebrate the holidays and festive occasions. Hannah Lynn. It's right here. I use various markers on. August the 20th. That was fun to color. I decided to leave this white. And I am getting some yellowing on my page back here. Some, but it's not hurting the actual picture. Thank goodness. That was really fun. Yes, we have some yellow here. I did this one with uh, spray markers and Chromatech uh, gel pens on this picture here. August the 20th. That was really fun to do. Her skin is so beautiful. I just, I like the way that one turned out. Howling Cats, Deborah Muller. I did one in here with Sweet Carol. Me and Carol uh, coloring for my anxiety. We did a buddy color. We did this picture right here. This was really fun to do. I used tail tree markers and Arteza Everloom markers on this one. August the 8th. Uh, mosaic art patterns such and such diva i think this is the first one i did in here too i'm trying to do one in here every month right here i did this one right here i uh, use various markers i am getting some yellowing on pages see the yellowing I did this on August the 7th. As long as it don't hurt the picture, and this is the back of the book, then I'll be fine with it. But when it starts hurting my pictures, and I can tell you which marker it is, because I don't know, because it's various markers, you know. But this was really fun to do right here. I really enjoyed it. It's really pretty. Decided to work in this. Haley, she works in hers a lot, so I decided to pull my books out. And uh, I've got another one. I've lost it by this artist, Fantasy Bates, uh, Stephanie A. Quinn. And I've lost the book. I don't. I looked through all my books. And I didn't see it. This is Betty Bones right here. Age 25, post 10 years, location on her way to a date in a castle. She's never been on a date before. And the various markers on this. So I'll be coloring in here in these books more. It's really fun. I thought, well, I'll just um, get mine out and color because I always liked Haley's, you know, colorings. I think that's all I did in there. It was yeah. We got Sci-Fi Babes by Stephanie Quinn. I did this one right here, and I used various markers. That was really fun too. And I like the way some of it was shaded in and it made it even funner to color. August the 21st on this one. Hey, Pepper. This is uh, Cheryl Scream, age 30, Earth years. Location currently lives on planet Earth. She loves brain massages. We've got the uh, 50 Triangular Mandela's Camellia and Jacoba. I did this one right here. It's a buddy color with Nikki. And hers turned out good also. This was really fun to do. Uh, Nikki picked this one out and I'm really glad she did. Because I really loved it. It's a strawberry right here in the middle. I used Rion glitter gel pens on this picture. That's the best one. I love all her books. But this is the best picture. I believe I had fun coloring. Uh, August the 22nd. And Nikki lives in England. I really like her. She's really nice. You see all that sparkle there? 
Beautiful. I think it's the only one I did in there. Yeah, it was. Uh, Freak Show, Deborah Muller. I did several in here with uh, Brooke, Buddy Color. Did this one right here with Brooke. I think all these pages, all these pages, was Buddy Colors with Brooke, and hers turned out excellent. Also, thank you, Brooke, so much for coloring with me, my buddy. And I used various markers on this one. August twenty second. Brick also, buddy color, um, tail tree. Let me see. Did I get a stick? Hold on a minute. I don't want to miss something. Okay, used I uh, col we colored this one. Me and Brick tail tree markers. That was really fun. I really enjoyed coloring this. Uh, August thirteenth. This one right here was body color with brick. I used tail tree markers. Tail tree markers does really well. And you can you can pretty much count on them if you want to color a background with one marker. You're good to go. As long as you you know the markers hold up really good actually. Um August 13th on that one. This one right here was a body color with brick. I used tail tree markers and Arteza ink on it pen on this uh, August the 8th uh oh buddy don't get too close to my foot mystery mosaics gallery the most expensive masterpieces in the world the Elba family now, I don't like how this one turned out. My marker didn't do right. I had to use a different color marker, and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Because, uh, well, for three, you know, you could use the uh, skin tone, the beige. And my color went out. It didn't work right, but it is what it is. August the 17th is when I did this one. I used various markers. Yeah, th this could have been lighter here instead of a darker brown. I wish I would have used a lighter brown instead. And it called for seven was a seven was a brown, but I wish I'd used a lighter brown. But hopefully, it looks okay for you guys. And this is the info on the picture here. Mosaic Art Vacations, colored by number, such and such diva. I didn't do this one. Okay, that's July. Okay, this one right here I did August the 8th. It's really fun to do. I use various markers on this. I love the way it turned out. It's real pretty. Looks good on film, on camera too. There's that one. I've got about three left, guys. I colored quite a bit. Uh, 50 Jungle Miniatures, Camila and Nikova. Let's see now. Did this one right here is a buddy color with Kitty's coloring. Uh, hers turned out really well. Also, I used uh, June Gold and Rayon Glitter Gel Pens on this one. August 4th. I like the shine. It's real pretty and shiny. Turned out really good. And we did this one also together as a buddy color. Kitty's color. And I used Rayon Glitter Gel Pens on this one. August 4th. I like how hers turned out also. 
definitely fun to do. Let's see, did I do another one in here? Might have. Now this one right here I did as a buddy color with Sweet Haley. We did this one together. And I used color and motion pencils on this. August 11th is when I did this one. One hundred one unique mandalas, Kamiva and Jacoba. The one in here. This was a buddy color with Nikki. Also, I use Link Shine glitter gel pens and Flare glitter gel pens on this one. Turned out really good and pretty shiny. Um, August the twenty third on this. Beautiful. So pretty and shiny. Nikki's turned out pretty also. I loved hers too. I love coloring that. That was fun to do. The last one I've got here to show you guys is Mystery Mosaics Wild Fairies Belba Family. I did this one right here with various markers. August 25th is when I did this one. And this one right here also there's markers august 24th so i did this one this is a fun book see all the people right here i didn't notice that till after i did this when all the people watching there it's really pretty and this one right here i did um, various markers. Let's see what day it was. I did it August 26th when I did this one. See that pretty cat right there? Oh, this one right here. Did this one. Various markers. August 27th. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And we will be back again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.